back, bro. The dream team's back together. Yeah, Sarsky. Just drove seven hours to link up with this fool right now. <laughs> um, dude, it's heavy. Drove up through the night last night. We're in NorCal right now. Long, long drive last night, but it was worth it. We're chasing a big swell. Also gonna handle some business up in NorCal. But uh, yeah, I got it done. Listen to some podcasts on the road, some dope new soundtracks, getting shit ready for videos I wanna edit, pick some good songs. Speaking of podcasts though, we just dropped our new Castle Kings podcast. Link in the description down below. Go subscribe to the Castle Kings podcast channel. Go support our podcast. It's me and the homies just talking shit. And um, yeah, dude, spread a lot of rad knowledge. Um, go into depth more of who we are and like what I'm about. Definitely get deeper into that on a more emotional level, but also talk some crazy stories about partying with like legends, the Shano podcast, partying with Bell Thorne, Pamela Anderson, got Bam Margera on the podcast, bunch of legends. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some coffee right now and then drive further north and go chase the swell, dude. Swell's on the rise, there's a huge maverick swell hitting NorCal, so I'm gonna try and find some sandbars, um, some secret slabs, and just score some waves. <laughs> oh, dude, I just lost your board. Hey, there you go. While we wait for our coffee, we're gonna skate a picnic bench. Hey. Boom. Shot a mocha to start the day, and we're off. Tiled. Picked up this Kayo belly board from the Rusty factory yesterday. Thing feels insane. Most rockered out short board ever. It's made in Brazil. Look at the rocker on that thing. It's pretty rocky. So rocky, huh? It's like Rocky Balboa, dude. And then I got this 5'7 what model, dude. It feels magic. Oh, yeah, the under the arm test feels good, pa. All right, we're off, dude. Hi, brother. Yeah, dog. What up? How are you, bro? How good? What are you guys doing? Back in town, dude. Yeah? Yeah, just trying to score some waves. What's up, dude? What's up, dog? Yeah, yeah, that's sick. Just talked to Bud and said I'd be cruising by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Hey, boys. All right, I'll text you. That's good. That's good. Zersky. Just picked up some fresh suits. Sponsored by the best wetsuit company in the world. So it's pretty sick that they have a huge shop right here in Santa Cruz. Come grab some swag, got some booties, got some new wetsuits. I'm fired up, dude. We're back out there. Let's go get some waves. So the swell is on the rise all day. Pulled up to this sick little right slab point. I don't even know what it is really, but it looks super fun. I'm frothing. I'm gonna suit up, get out there. Got a fresh board, fresh soup. Life doesn't get better than this. Gonna go for a rip and then try and score some more nuts this evening. So, fire it up. Yeah. You can send my troubles on the road like the tide. But there's no Love you. 
loving you Dude, I'm freezing, bro. I got the heater blaring right now. Oh, that pretty much wraps up day one in NorCal. I can't even speak because my lips are so numb. It got to like negative degrees out here. It's like 30 degrees or some shit. Um, water wasn't too bad, but the outside air is just freezing. Sick day. Swell started to fill in right before dark. It's getting bigger and bigger out there. It's like a bomb set coming through at Middle Peak, I think that's what you call it. So tomorrow's gonna be insane. Tomorrow's gonna be even bigger. Tides are gonna be even more negative. I'm gonna try and get some sick slobby barrel waves. I don't know, we're just gonna try and score some waves around town with the Buell crew um, and go up north. Who knows, dude? So stay tuned, because tomorrow's gonna be off the cheesy pop. OTC, you already know. What up, guys? Day two, it's bright and early, about 7 a.m. We're up in NorCal. We already got our coffee. There's full waves right now. We're definitely gonna try and surf, but I think we're gonna do something a little different. Um, last night at Steve Merlin, I saw the waves were coming in pretty perfect on the slot, and the boys are all telling me today's like a six foot high tide, bright and early at I think 7.30 a.m., which makes it perfect to attempt the world's largest acid drop, which I've tried dozens of times up here in Santa Cruz. But um, it's still in the back of my head. I just want to do it so badly. I want to pull this thing. 
So we're gonna go assess the conditions. I got an epoxy airboard, um, kind of old one, because you do risk breaking boards doing this. I've broken like four boards, blew out my ankle and blew out my knee trying this once. Um, and yeah, dude, it's quite the freaking journey. It's so gnarly, bro. It's one of the heaviest tricks ever. I don't think it's even possible, but I want to give it my all and try it. Um, on, a, on the Stab Highway trip, we had all the best free surfers in the world trying it. Mickey Clark, Aton Osborne, um, Eric Geiselman, Ballroom Stack, Parker Coffin, all the gnarliest free surfers, Mateus Erdi, in the world were here and nobody pulled it. Um, so it shows something, it's, it's hard. It's the gnarliest thing ever in surfing. But uh, shouts out to Nathan Fletcher who pioneered it, tried it back in the day and was coaching us to do it at Stab Highway. I'm gonna give it a shot for him. So let's go assess the conditions and uh, see what we're gonna get into today. Waves are pumping though, holy shit, there's long lines. A little bit of wind though, dude, that might not be good. That might not be good. You definitely don't want wind when you're jumping from a 30 foot cliff into a wave. <laughs> so stay tuned. to jump off that cliff over there behind us, that 30 foot cliff, into a little wave. And I've probably been up here seven different times to try and attempt this. It's like almost exactly five years to the date when I was up here for a surf contest and John Mel and Gabe and G. Witt and all, Jacob Dennis and all the boys that live up here were like, jump off the cliff right here for your heat. And I kind of just set one and got like close and like, bro, you got that. It was so high tide that they just fired me up to keep trying it. And I got so close and that clip went super viral and I was like, dude, it's doable. And then I had a lot of people in my head tell me that it's doable. Um, a lot of people said it's not doable, but we're back and we're gonna try it, dude. Um, this wind is not ideal. And it's definitely like long waits in between sets, but we're gonna give it a go. I might go Instagram live for the first couple attempts. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. But uh, yeah, it's going down. I'm fearing. Oh, look at this guy on a nugget. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go get suited. Oh, 
I didn't feel good on my body. No, not a chance. Oh, you just had a couple of those things. Yeah, I did that. Last one definitely hurt. It's uh, it's not ideal conditions. The wind super strong out of the north just picked up. Just blows my board away. Um, but we tried it, dude. We attempted the world record setting acid drop cliff jump into a wave, and we failed. But I'll be back. I'm gonna come back and make history. I need a board with more foam. I need gloves because my hands are freezing and numb. We all makes good gloves. And um, I need to train, dude. I've been like, I haven't been working out or training or doing anything for this, bro. Are you kidding me? This is like real athlete shit. So I'm gonna go prepare proper preparation, prevent for performance, and then come back and I'm gonna stick it, dude. Mark my words. We will be back. She will be mine. She will be mine. But thanks for watching, guys. If you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, help us out. We're just trying to grow. I'm just trying to make rad videos, make entertaining content. I'm having fun doing it. Appreciate Kato for sitting behind the lens, sitting on the beach all day, yes, documenting this shit, coaching me into it. And uh, yeah, dude, we drop videos every Sunday, so stay tuned. More banger videos to come. And I will be back, dude. I mean it. I'm not fucking around. All right, guys. Much love. I go ice my knee, please. Yeah.